What's up YouTube, Monsterbait here, and today I want to go over glory towers and how they can become effective in your game of Summoner's War. So I'm going to start out by showing you uh, where the glory towers are at. So inside the glory shop, <clears throat> um, all your glory towers are going to be here at the end. And instead of sp spending your glory points on the scrolls and all the other items that are in the glory shop, focus your points on leveling up these towers. There are um, certain towers that you do not have to level, like your arcane booster tower, that is only going to be effective inside the arena. But all the other towers are actually going to give you stats for um, all the other parts in the game, whether you're in Kairos Dungeon, you're in Raid, you're in your guild battles, or if you're in Arena, uh, these glory towers are going to give you those stats in all areas of the game. So as you can see here, um, not all my towers are leveled, but um, trying to get to at least level 5 should be your first starter goal for each one of your towers. Uh, the main towers you want to upgrade first are going to be your Guardstone, which is here. Um, and then next you want to do your HP tower for the Crystal Altar. And then your Speed uh, Sky Tribe Totem. Your Crit Damage Totem. And then the Ancient Sword for your Attack Percent uh, Totem. So all those stats are going to go to every single one of your monsters that you have in the game. Um, whether, like I said, whether they're in the um, Guild Wars, they're in the Raid, uh, Kairos Dungeon, or in Arena. Um, the ones that are specific for each element are the ones that you want to level last. So the Water, Fire, Wind, Light, and Dark, you'll want to level those last because they're only going to go to just those elements. Um, so if you need to build like your Lucians to get them more attacks, they can clear the waves and Giants. If you need to do the Water one, so then your um, Fame and Farmer could hit harder just to make sure you clear the waves in a faster time. Um, then you could start upgrading those towers. But um, you really want to save those ones for last just because those go to just a specific element. So you're only um, leveling up the stats of a, only a select amount of units. But all the rest of these um, for the guard, for the defense, HP, attack, crit damage, and speed towers, you want to get those um, to level 10 as fast as possible. So then you can level up those towers and obtain those stats for every monster that you have in the game. So now let's go and I will show you um, these stats in other parts of the game and where you could actually find uh, where these stats are being applied. So we're going to go here and just do a random giant's run. So um, on the left side you'll see the little settings icon. You can click that icon and on top you'll see ally buff. So we will do that, click the settings, go to ally buff. So here um, the attack 33% is obviously from the Lucian leader skill um, for the Kairos Dungeons. He just applies that 33%. Um, but all these other stats you see for the speed 14%, the crit damage for 15%, the defense, HP, all those stats are coming from my arena towers and all of those are applied in this dungeon run. So, um, the re so this is the reason why having these towers is so beneficial because it's like having two extra runes on your monsters. You're getting all these free stats for all your monsters in the game. Um, if you don't have the rune quality to build your guys tanky enough for R5, um, that's going to really benefit you, benefit you if you have the defense and HP stats from these glory towers. It's an extra 20% per tower for all the stats, except for crit damage you'll get 25%. And then once you start doing the elemental towers, the water, um, wind, fire, light, and dark, those actually give 21% um, attack percent to each one of those elements. So in total, you're looking at an extra 41% attack, um, another 20% defense, 20% HP, and 25% grit damage. Those are huge stat numbers that you could apply to all areas of the game. And then for Guild Wars, the Guild War towers are only specific for Guild Wars and Guild Siege, and also for the Tartarus Labyrinth. So all Guild content, those Guild flags are going to be only used and those stats for the Guild War Towers are only used in Guild content. But for the Arena Towers, they are used for the Guild Wars and all the Guild content for Arena, for R5, or any rating, and then also in uh, the Kairos Dungeons. So all these stats and the Glory Towers are really, really important for you to focus on farming. So building up an Arena team is also um, going to be pretty beneficial for you, especially early in the game, all the way to the end of the game. I understand in the beginning of the game it's going to be hard to continuously farm arena, especially once you get higher in the ladder, just because you're going to start fighting harder defenses. So what you want to do is actually set yourself a farming defense. Um, what I mean by that is just right here. I only have one monster on defense, so people are going to be inclined to hit me a lot more than they hit other people. Um, 
just so then they can get the easy win. And um, if everybody starts doing these easy defenses, then we can all just farm each other uh, for these um, arena points. Because the glory points are needed in order to um, upgrade your towers. So uh, farming your rivals every day is really important. Plus, because uh, you get the glory points from farming the rivals, and then you also get the, the two um, crystals for each rival that you uh, beat. And as for the weekly reward, I really wouldn't stress on trying to rank high to get the weekly reward. The rewards for the top players are not that beneficial. Yes, they get an LD nat 3 or nat 4, but um, only one person is going to get that LD nat 4. The crystals are nice, um, but unless you can actually play at the Conqueror and Guardian level, then it's really not effective to set a hard defense because then you just won't be able to farm those defenses effectively. And you want to do it in a time management, um, being able to do it effectively and efficiently. And like I said, uh, some of these arena defenses might be very difficult to beat. Um, if you don't have the double Lucian comp that um, a lot of people utilize to farm arena and to really try to rank high, they'll usually do the double Lucian farming team. Um, if you don't have double Lucian, then I would try to look for two AOE monsters that you have, whether they're nat 5s or nat 4s, or they could even be nat 3s. Um, but as long as you could just continuously beat people's arena defenses, um, it doesn't matter what you use on your offense, as long as you can con continuously win um, and obtain those glory points. And you'll get three uh, glory points per battle when you're in the um, challenger level, and then once you reach fighter level, then you'll start receiving uh, four glory points per battle. Um, in total, um, it takes more than 80,000 glory points in order to level up all the towers across the board. Um, so just farming day by day, you do get 10 arena wings. Um, when you first wake up, you'll just have the 10 free ones. And then after you utilize those, then maybe if you take your lunch break or maybe uh, right when you come home from work, use your next 10 arena wings um, because they'll be refreshed by then. And then before you go to bed, you could use another 10 arena wings. And then you also get three free arena, arena wings when you do your dailies. Um, so that's 33 wings in total. And if you're in the challenger level, then that means that you're going to get 99 points a day. So we'll just round it up to 100 just for the easy math. So that means that you're going to get 700 points per week if you're just using just the free arena wings um, every single day. And you're going to minus 180 from that because that's how much the Devilmon is uh, per week. And make sure that you prioritize the Devilmon before you prioritize the Glory Towers. Um, that's where the Glory Towers are not as important because I believe leveling up your Nat 5s and the hard to skill up monsters um, takes priority um, with getting those devil mons. So that will leave you at 520 uh, glory points each week, which um, every two weeks you should be able to apply at least one or two levels into one of your glory towers. Once you reach level five and six with your glory towers, then yes, it's going to take a little bit more. Um, so it might be leveling up um, each one every three weeks. But if you continue this routine every, um, every week, then by the end of the year, you should at least have all of your towers up to level 8 or level 9. Um, the reason why I'm so behind is because I actually was not um, putting this practice into play and that's why my glory towers are actually so far behind right now. But now I see the benefit of all the stats and everything that I could have obtained from these glory towers and then once you have the glory towers com completed then you can focus all of those glory points just on scrolls in the end. So but just muscle out and do the glory shop uh, glory towers first and then you can start utilizing those points elsewhere. All right, and before I finish off this video, the quick do's and don'ts for um, beginning in the glory shop. Do not buy any of the mystical scrolls, not the wind, water, fire, or the regular mystics. They cost way too many glory points, and by the points that you spend on those, you could easily be getting those substats uh, for your monsters instead. And then you can focus on these mystical scrolls um, and elemental scrolls after your glory uh, towers are completed. And then you also want to make sure that you buy your double mon every single week. Uh, you can only buy one a week, and it's, the Devil Mon is probably the most rare um, item that you can get in the game. And it's crucial for having Devil Mon in order to level up the skills in all of your Nat 5s that you're uh, trying to skill up. And then don't buy the random um, Angel Mon either. Um, you can use your crystals to buy the like the 750 like Mystical Scroll Pack, and then you'll get like the three random Angel Mon there. But leveling up uh, your monsters is not that hard. Especially if you have a Feynman Farmer, then it'll be really easy. And if you uh, level up your Glory Towers and then you get that attack percent up for your Feynman Farmer, it just makes those runs that much faster and then you can obtain that experience that much fast faster as well. For the Sanctum of Energy, I recommend um, at least going up to level 8. So then every time you do an energy refresh, you'll have 88 energy. So then all, like, all the Kairos Dungeon runs um, cost 8 
um, energy to run them. So then you can get 11 runs in per energy refresh. You can go up to 90. Um, I just decided to stop at 88. And then for the mana fountains and stuff, I um, don't recommend getting those just because you're going to obtain more mana from farming the dungeons than you are from the mana fountains. And besides that, um, don't do the arcane booster tower. Um, do not do this one at all. It only helps you in the arena. And unless you're really trying to push your arena ranking up into the guardian, high guardian tier, um, there's no point to have the, um, the arcane booster tower. It doesn't help you out anywhere else in the game um, besides just your arena. But all these other uh, towers help you in all the dungeons, um, the raids, and uh, guild battles. All right. So uh, that's all I have for this video. Nice quick video. Um, thank you everybody for watching. Again, I'm Monster Bait. If you want to catch me on Twitch, it's uh, Monster underscore Bait, B-A-T-E. And I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then also on Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. I also do account optimizations for people. So if you would like me to um, optimize your account, whether it's your Giants, Dragons, or Necro team, or make you an R5 team, or um, just help you out um, anywhere else in the game, I could do that live on stream, or I could do that in my own time and uh, just make sure I post a video up so then you can see your account optimization. I do that for free, of cost, um, and just send me an email at monsterbait, um, that's monsterbait, one word, with B-A-I-T, 27 at gmail.com. I appreciate your guys' viewership and live by my code. Every day is a good day. Thank you. And